Well, what do you want to do? Now then. You seem interested, lad. All right. I can... Yeah, it's your... What should we do? We might fill a rec... I should very much like to go there. Yeah, but it's your call. Great. Let's move out. As the sunset stretches the gauntlet runner's shadow across the water, they arrive at the prismatic sea. Sailors whisper of an otherworldly view visible in these parts, if you survive the terrors of the deep. Yet somehow, the sailors have never found an unimpeachable source, and the party was about to understand why. The gauntlet runner arrives at an encampment, and sensing no imminent threats, they breathe a collective sigh of relief. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours.
that's awful. man to be part of your grand this one's important
here. I rejoin the fray. In the name of justice. Samurai. Untamed magic. Let's wrap this up. Now I shall tell you the fray. Pierce through them. They yet cling to life. Call upon the royal power within! Take my first power! We've done it! To ever greater heights! Appreciate it! See you! Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? All right, then. This <laughs> is... <laughs> All right, then. Well, no, um... But then, actually... I'm very happy! The land of ceremony rises over the water's horizon. The sun blazes down on the island year-round, giving way to scorching heat. Coming here eventually came to have ceremonial significance, as monsters who could survive these conditions boast extraordinary strength. Not even thieves dare to come near this mausoleum. The party rouses their spirits and steps inside. Leave 
new to us. to me. I say take it with you.
Trust in me. Leave it to me. Nice!
I see the enemy. Right. Let's settle this quick. By this power. That's what it's done it. No. Steady effort is key. All right. Isn't this a dilemma? <laughs> How's that? 
That's one more thing we don't have to worry about. This looks valuable. That's spectacular! the play. Use her skills. Pass through them. That's 
Did you not do it? I won't fight as power. Free! It didn't work. It didn't affect them. Badly wounded. Can anyone heal him? Stroll can't take any more. Someone kill him. I call him. upon royal power within. Show me true power tougher than I thought. The captain's I shall take the royal ready. We can't let Saving him. Saving his souls, souls of kings. Give me strength. The situation is changing. Anything else you could use? These bones are aged, old relics of my fellow countrymen. I wonder how many have fallen here. And what did the trials mean to them? My own deeds merely live in their shadow. Because it was only by chance that I entered my fight. Your initiative to do this, even by chance, has revealed your true power. My true power? So you're saying that the path which led me here, all my experiences, it was all a trial? entire life, I have seen myself as an offering. I thought of nothing except that duty. That's why panic took root in me. But at the same time, if my past had been any different, would I have had the strength to defeat that monster?
This trial has shown me I am more than an offering. While it revealed my weakness, so too did it reveal my triumph. Now, my only desire is to seek a deeper faith in myself, so that I can go wherever I have decided to go. But while the outside world is still frightening, I'd like you by my side. I know I have room to grow as far as believing in myself, but my belief in you is already as the tallest oak. Of course. You need... How happy you make me. Finally, I understand. This power which burns within me. That only I can know what I might bring to bear. That must be what my brother wanted me to learn. I've made my decision. I will fight for the good of everyone and everything. For all the world. What's this? A, a handshake? Wait, I see uh, you're offering me the type of handshake practiced by those in the outside world. The Oracle Priestess, Yufa, within her, nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. My heart is a flutter. not so much to ask. It's just that for the Mastari, handshakes mean two different things. One meaning is simply trust, which you offer now. And the other meaning is... Well... It matters not. Um, the, that is... Uh, please don't let it worry you. My sincerest appreciation. All right. Now then, I thank you greatly, and may I suggest we turn toward home? Very well. Let's return to the entrance. Okay then. Right?
most helpful. Feeling worn out. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Here. Well then. All right then. All right, then. Go. Right. Time for the old girl to shine. Now then. Let's see. What a view. I cannot say I see the point, but... Yeah, but... It's your call. Let's be off. What to pick? The Orbwise Pass, a cave on an uninhabited island east of Virga Island, comes into view. An old Mustari custom says, the deceased can ascend as guardian deities if their remains are fed to the snakes here. Time passes, lands and peoples change. 
and the unthinkable becomes sacred tradition. The party arrives with complicated feelings. Giving it some thought? Ah, I see. Right. Be that as it may. Greater power within. That 
was well done. <laughs> been spotted on your card amazing great moves back there such an elegant fighter nice how exciting Take it with you. I 
imagine that would be of use. You own this place, huh? You're not raiding this tomb on our watch. Let's go. Burn! That's your hands are weakness. Summer on. That's your opening, Captain. The power of fire. Keep it up, I'll oh. show you. Raging fire. That is their weakness. Absurd. Mate! Don't let them down, do that. Oh, Miss Fire! We got them right Let's in the weakness. Let's set it up. Sorry, Bob.
Armada's factory. Yes, I've become stronger. Great work, Captain. The Islanders will be happy to hear the news. Let's hurry and let them know. Thank you. All right. But first, might I ask you a random question? What does strength truly mean to you? Strength is to show compassion to others, I suppose. Well, aren't you considerate? I wouldn't have thought. Well, then you pass. I hereby appoint you to the position of my personal escort. You do know that I have an adoring public all over the continent, yes? I get absolutely swarmed when I go out alone. How honored you must feel. <laughs> oh, but I kid. I'm just glad to have you aboard. After all, we're both putting our lives on the line to achieve the same goal, are we not? So let me put it to you again. If there's something I want to save, are you still willing to risk your life for it? I do appreciate you fighting alongside me, and I was deadly serious about the escort thing. So, let's give it our best. The ephemeral songstress, Juna. Within her dwells the virtue of the masked dancer. Nurture thy bond with her and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I feel like I can rely on you. Oh, that reminds me. I did promise to teach you a songstress's secrets. Though I hardly think they're all that impressive. All I do is show everyone the me I want to be. It's the audience who sees that and feels what they do about it that makes me a songstress. It sounds cryptic, I know, but watch close and you'll see what I mean. Right, my good man? For your first duty as my new escort, shall we head back? Yeah, let's go back to the entrance. Oh, 
got it. Thank you. Is. <laughs> this one's important. Now then. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Piece of cake! What do you want to do? Ah, oh, 
right. Well, well. Yes.
All right. marine trade, thanks to the bounties of the sea. The bay's most prominent feature, though, is a sinkhole of unfathomable depth. Some believe to gaze into its abyss is to be spirited away. The gauntlet runner glides into the inlet as seabirds overhead cry out songs of victory at their catches. Giving it some thought? sets over the sea's horizon and the birds rest their wings, the gauntlet runner settles into a reef, waves lapping softly at its home. The gauntlet runner anchors itself at the reef to stave off danger. Within its walls, the party sleeps peacefully.
marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? All right, then. At last, the party arrives at Sporico Cave, nestled deep in the forest. Within, vibrant flowers rich with color blossom in full glory. But theories claim the cave itself is a weapon of a bygone era, and the magic of its circuitry infused the ground with magma. As though drawn in by the bewitching light, the gauntlet runner draws near the mouth. As the clear surface gives way to the glassy ink of darkness, the gauntlet runner reaches a remote island. The party gets a good night's rest, grateful for the still land that does not sway them at its whims.
Proven. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. to pick. All right, then. to pursue such a beast, one of bravery, or something else altogether. The party sets foot in the tower, filled now only with disquieting magma, all prayers long unanswered. the last of them. growing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
upon us. I say take it with you. You can trust in me. Leave it to me. Nice! Sounds like a lovely time. <laughs> what now? Only a few 
flesh wounds. I can't afford to hold back. Go for it! I shall do my best. I ask for your aid. Strike true! It is your turn! I continue to grow. Ah, I... Does it seem that I've grown stronger? You show splendid growth. I've acquired a new power. New ability!
on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Here you are. Well then. I am grateful. <sighs> the heat is trying, but to right, the God's then. will. We did it.
Tschüss. Yeah. All right then. What now? Right. I'm very happy.
Good to hear. Yes. future. I found a way to change. Surely they too. My thanks. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Try not to die. Speaking of which... Most helpful. Well then... Yes, lovely! Alright then. All right, then. Where to? Let's go!
animal.
if so. Okay. Okay. Thanks, I've gotten fun. 
Ba. <laughs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Well then. I'll see you again soon. I'll see you again soon. It's all right. So now... It is my turn to test my metal.
Everyone! life. Thank you.
There is yet hope on the horizon. We shall. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Try not to die. Well then. Mister! Just love me! What now? I see. Fascinating. I'm counting up. Oh. My power swells forth. I have retained my edge. My power swells forth. I have retained my edge. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Steady effort is key. Getting stronger. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. I found new power. Fascinating. Oh. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. All right. What now?
Up, you two? Smells good, doesn't it? Hope you like it. This dish has some complexity to it. There's more than enough for everyone. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be good if I gave some of Miss Fabian's food to hungry people. Everyone's scared of people they don't understand or don't know. That's why they were mean to me too. So maybe if we get everyone to eat lots of good food together, they'll talk to each other and get along. I'd like to help too. Oh, thank you. Um, can you serve the food? Now hold on. Let's not be hasty about inviting those sorts in, hmm? What if they make a habit of skulking around here? <sighs> well... Take a look yourself before you start clutching your pearls. Not a single one has even taken a plate, as you can plainly see. I need to warn you, ma'am. Even if you demand compensation later, I've naught to give you. And I'm telling you, I don't need any. Maria and I just don't want you dying of hunger. After all, we're neighbors, and I won't ignore any of you any longer. Truth be told, I turned a blind eye to your plight. But Maria saw it plain, and my eyes were opened. And I realized that it isn't right. It's not all right at all. So, go ahead and eat your fill. Use my word. There are no tricks here. I have a portion for you as well. Surely you've heard whispers about the honeybees' fair now, haven't you? Hmm. Is it true that you ran your own business? Yes, ma'am. At one point, I owned a factory and had several hired hands in my employ. But then, I was swindled by a moneylender. I'd like to work my way up again, or even earn just enough to put a roof over my head. But once you've lost your footing, it's hard to stand back up on your own. Hey, perhaps you could find a place that will put him to work. I've heard you're well-connected around these parts. I'll consider it. <gasps> oh, he's here! You should try Miss Fabian's cooking. It's really good. Why? Because eating yummy food makes everyone happy. And when my friends are happy, I'm happy too. We're... friends? But you're normal, and I'm... I've been thinking about a whole lot of things lately. And we did this today because I met you. Talking to people makes things better. It makes it so even things that were sad feel a little... brighter. It's like... a light in the dark all of a sudden. Or... actually... It's more like you see it was never dark to begin with. I want everyone to know that. <sighs> I'm Maria. What's your name? It's... Apus. I couldn't even remember my own name. Nice to meet you, Apus. So, um... Do you think anything around here has changed? I'm not sure, but... It does feel a little different, yeah. Do you want to come eat with us? <sighs> Everyone looks so happy. Miss Fabian said she wanted to try doing that again. 
She even wants to get some of the townspeople to help out too. You'll always have my support. You'll help us serve food again, right, mister? Me and Aethys are friends now too. We're going to go play with Harundo and the others too next time. It sounds like you're making plenty of friends. Yep, it's a lot of fun. You know, all of these good things happen because of you, mister. You gave me those pictures of your journey, remember? When I look at these pictures, I imagine your voice in my head saying, Just do your best. <laughs> I like it when you're here, and sometimes I'm still lonely when you're not around, but I'm not going to ask you not to go. Is that because you have a home now? I used to want to run away from Grand Trad so badly. I didn't feel at home here, so I thought there was someplace else I should go to. I wanted Miss Fabian to like me so much. But the more important thing really was, if I liked Miss Fabian. When I realized that, I learned that I can pick where my home is. I can choose where I belong. And right now, I've picked this place. This is my home. I'll wait here with Miss Fabian, so... Can't die, okay? So please come back. Instead of pictures, when I return, I'll bring you back a kind, caring country. When that happens, will this be a place where people only cry when they're happy? I want to help you too. I wish everyone could smile and laugh all the time. The pure-hearted maiden, Maria, keeper and heritor of the healer's virtues. Your tempered bond has become a fire-forged trust. Thus, a new pinnacle of heroism awakens within thee. By the grace of her newfound powers, work to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. I want to be with Mr. Forever. If you don't come back on your own, I'll find you and bring you back. I still dream about going on a journey one day. I'll even go to where Papa never went to. I'll see those places for him. And then it'll be my turn to tell you all about my journey. Do the two of you have a moment? Lend me a hand with the inn, will you? Okay, coming. Let's go. Fascinating. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right? I'm counting on you. Of course.
really. New skills, new possibilities. do that. Incredible. All right. Everything okay? Yes. Please. Truth of the matter is, what?
Listen here. This one's important. If all goes according to plan. I have faith in you. Unbelievable. You've truly fulfilled your task? Your abilities know no bounds. Why, it beggars belief. Incredible. Incredible. All right. Wow, he's really gushing this time. Though I'd say you definitely earned it. It cannot have been an easy journey. Full of meetings and partings, trials and joys. All from which you've come to find your own way of life. There must have been many people who have wished, worked, and given themselves for your support. Indeed, you could never have achieved so much alone. I see. If you have come so far with motes of the people's light in your wake, then perhaps I was wrong. And the world is not lost to hope. A strange revelation. But I confess, I do not resent being proven wrong. I could have told you that. There's always hope. <laughs> is that what you believe? Then the power of fantasy has given you strength indeed. Now then, I'd like to present your next task. But, alas, I have none to give. There is nothing more to be done. With this, you have seen our mutual endeavors through to the end. There are two reasons. The first being that my knowledge of archetypes ends here. I have nothing more to teach. You have outpaced me on the path to the ultimate archetype. As for the other reason... What's wrong? Oh, by the way, did you get that lost memories thing figured out? Unfortunately, the rest of my memories have not come to me. However, I did arrive at a conclusion of sorts. Why was I confined here? And where in the world is this place? My apologies, but for now, I'll refrain from explaining my conclusion so simply. It could cast a shadow over the archetype's growth. No, more so your own. Uh... What's that supposed to mean? That you and I met was no coincidence. Everything has been connected from the beginning. If the hypothesis I've reached is correct, my memory will soon return in full, and I will gladly tell you all. <sighs> yes. Though there is one memory I know for certain, beyond speculation. The reason why I wrote the fantasy novel. I mentioned once that in my youth, I went on a journey. I met many people in my travels, and it is for their sakes that I wrote my tale as an ideal I hoped to make true. In your youth? You don't look that old to me. You're talking like this is all way in the past. Hmm? Ah, indeed. I suppose I am. I shared my stories with the people I cared for dearly, that we might dream of the same future and thus strive toward it. I've no idea what became of them, or how they now live. But I'm glad to have remembered them. Their echoes have given me a new goal, crystal clear. Someday I will leave this place behind and reunite with my companions. 
I'd like to give you some tangible token of my appreciation as well. If we only ever meet in this mind space, I can't give you so much as a single letter. When that time comes, let's go on our own journey together. And so our odyssey would continue, hmm? Yes, a wonderful idea. Thank you. When we met, I styled myself as your guide. But in truth, I think you guided me just as much. <laughs> it seems he'd like to show his appreciation too. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad we met. The Scholar in Search of Utopia, Moor, Keeper and Heritor of the Seeker's Virtues. By the grace of his newfound powers, work to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. Dreams will forever elude our grasp. I truly look forward to the day where you master the power of all archetypes and become a hero king, a great unifier of heroic spirits. We will meet again. I've been waiting. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. I 
I found new power. We 
Wait a second. Huh? <laughs> Come now. on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Fascinating. I'm... I've acquired a new ability. <sighs> you can trust in me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Nice! Sounds like a lovely time. That's how you want to play it. All right. Where to? Let's go! Talk. Whoa. 
Tick tock. Uh. Whoa. Can we talk? I'm off. All right, then. Go. Right. Thank you very much. Right. Dear God. Close your A. Place. 
shame to admit, but if we do nothing, that's right. That's surely right. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Here you are. About the currents. I too will.
what'll it be? another day. Now that's all one sharp as ever me. You sure? Cause I remember once the big fever passed, you went hot and cold again a couple more times. I'd never seen you go down like that. I said I'm fine, didn't I? God, but you love worry too much. Come on, I'm starving. to me. Just a bad feeling, I suppose. It was a human that wounded him. Hard to say whether the Magla might have any nasty side effects, you know. You mean he may need magic healing? I don't know if we're gonna find that here on the island. Hey, is there any way we could get Rella to take a look at him? Magla-born symptoms can take a turn for the worse incredibly fast. No matter how healthy you are, I'd rather not let it fester. Huh. Well, we do claim to help anyone in need, eh? But don't forget that we're fighting a battle. And if you cannot distinguish friend and foe on the battlefield, it will be your end. I know you're right. But I get the feeling those two are telling themselves the same thing. What if, now, what if, instead of speeding to her doorstep, we ask her saintliness to come here? It'll just take a bit of conspiring to get our story straight. I mean, I, I, I'm not normally a chap to take sides in this sort of thing, but those two hardly strike me as the evil type. Look, Captain, I wouldn't feel right ignoring this. Will you please go to the royal capital for me? No problem. I'll go. I knew you'd say that. Well, if Rella's coming here, I guess it won't be that much trouble. Thanks. I remember I called you too soft once. I see now I was wrong. 
If that's sorted, let's get it done sharpish before any complications crop up. Everyone got a chance to thank you. So on their behalf... Don't worry about it. Didn't want the annihilation of a whole village on my conscience is all. Wasn't expecting you to handle the evacuation side, though. Thought for sure you'd be the first in the fray with the human. They healed me up. Gotta repay the favour, don't I? Wouldn't feel right otherwise. And then, for their sake, you should take care of yourself, too. What? Who the hell? No way. Aren't you Cinderella? You're joking. You're not joking? Why is she here? I called for her, and she came. You that surprised? I know people in the Crown Theocracy. My work speaks for itself these days. It's almost time for the Saints Day festivities in Montario. Having been invited, I was in the area. I heard about your splendid work, Fidelio and Basilio. I hardly recognize the two of you. You remember us? Of course. This is a bit of a reversal, though. Back then, it was you helping treat Basilio's wound. I can tell how far you've come since then. Ugh. But I've also heard about your own injury. Your right foot, I'm guessing. Have you felt any sudden fevers come on? Let me have a look. Yes, that should do. I can see you had an expert looking after you already. Physically, you're as well as anyone could ask. But... Fidelio. Is there something you feel lost or anxious about? Where's that coming from? I've talked to lots of people and observed the flow of their magic. By now, I'm certain that Magla is connected to our emotions. When I speak to someone who's feeling strong emotions, I can sense the state of their heart as if seeing it with my own eyes. Nah, I'm sound. Nothing's getting me down. I see. Then you should be fine. Just don't take life for granted, or your treatment will have been for nothing. Keep on living, all right? For now, let's see. Run to the beach and back with Basilio. If you can make it without slowing down, then clearly there's nothing wrong with your foot. Hey, sounds like a laugh. Just like when we were kids, step lively, Del, or I'll leave you behind. Hey, what the hell? I said I'm fine. Oh, damn it. Basilio, hang on. Thanks, Rella. When you told me about the first time you'd saved someone's life, I didn't realize you were talking about them. You're in Luis's entourage now, yet you needed our stories to match in front of the brothers. You're swimming in dangerous waters, aren't you? Not just that. You've got a gauntlet runner that can teleport across the land and an elder captain who wields it through magic. That's a lot to take in. Well, uh... How do I put this? I didn't realize it when I met you before, but you're already one of the top candidates. I saw the King's Rock. Are you... intending to confront Luis? I can't say right now. Well, I guess you don't really have to. So you're committed to this path, no matter what. <laughs> I knew this day might come. It's not my place to stop you. Come now, do you have to be so bleak? I've already spent my fair share of time with Luis, you know. Don't underestimate Luis. As far as the Crown Theocracy knows, the King's magic will protect the highest candidates from any harm, and they think that guarantees their safety at the festival. 
But I've done my research. Some attacks the barrier can't stop. I believe the magic only prevents underhanded approaches, like ambush. So there's a loophole. It's not widely known, but take a duel, for instance. Both parties identify themselves, fight with consent, and the magic won't protect them, no matter their standing. But if you just have to identify yourself and agree to fight... Oh, was that why the battle with Gladell? Suffice it to say, the King's Shield is not perfect, and Luis will surely exploit that. I have a terrible feeling there will be bloodshed before Saint's Day is over. I won't try to stop you, but... Be careful down the road, all right? I'll protect Juna. I promise. Well, where is this coming from? Honestly! Then please, look after Juna. Ugh. You do know I'm not a child anymore. Keep up, Del! Gotta be faster than that! A springy old bastard, you've got the height advantage! Damn it! You haven't won yet! <laughs> I suppose we'll have to leave it there. Can't deny it this time, though. You lot did fantastic. And Lady Juna's safe, too. I owe you thanks for that, if nothing else. The Islanders gave us a map of the east side of the island. Their way of thanking us, I suppose. You're welcome to it, if you don't waste it. See? Old Del's great at looking after people. He saved loads of them in the evacuations. Oh, bell top, would you? I've been meaning to ask. That's a book, yeah? Didn't take you for a book reader. Lord Luis likes them though. Often got his head buried in one. By the way, doesn't Lu uh, Lord Luis have this same book? I How should we know? Not like we grew up around books. People barely literate nowadays, frankly. So, what's it say? As long as we're killing time anyhow, let me see it. In this world, one can become anything they desire. Neither birth nor status decides your occupation. Huh, sounds grand, that. You think this place really exists? Of course not, you muppet. It's a fantasy, remember? Anyone is free to become anything. This is a paradise of equality and freedom, devoid of discrimination or prejudice. Pretty words, then. But if everybody's free to do what they want, they'll work out their own reasons to be prejudiced. You can call it a utopia, but I reckon people living in it might romanticize our world too. At the end of the day, dreaming of escape will only ever be a dream. Nothing changes unless you do it with your own hands. Aye. But if we really could do anything, I quite fancy opening up a little diner with you, Del. You like singing, eh? And I'm dead handy with a cook pan. We could invite Lady Juna over, host a fancy soiree of our own. Every night, just us and our best mates living it up. You telling me you don't like the sound of that? Get your head out of the clouds, Baz. We're long past being able to get away with that. Doesn't matter anyway. The dream is just a dream. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now then. Yes, of course.
them to throw such a party before our departure. A far cry from our first night here in a cell. I hear it is a festival in the Dragon God's name, meant to ensure a safe sea voyage. In place of a lighthouse, their fire is kept burning until the morning. I say, these locals are badly well informed. They're up to their gills in practical and theoretical magma theory. Not as focused on the mechanicals as us mainlanders, but the land's far from barbaric. Their insights could rather improve the runner's design, you know? Ah, speaking of, I finished with the Lance replica. We're finally ready. Woo! Grand, ain't it? Del's all better. And we've got some choice souvenirs to bring back to Lord Luis. We're not out of the woods yet. Don't be too quick to celebrate. Hey, come on, lads, loosen up. It's a party. We've all had a little fun. And you? What's a sanctist fat cat like you doing getting all giddy over a pagan festival? I have to laugh, don't I? <sighs> you know, I thought the crier's life had made me pretty knowledgeable about our world, but it turns out most makes me think. Maybe this is how my old father felt. Crier of family trade, eh? Imagine that. <laughs> The Crown Theocracy does love their hereditary titles. Yeah, my old man was a serious fellow. <laughs> More than me, that's for sure. He called out corruption where he saw it. Made him a pariah. But there you go. Yeah, I remember, he once flat out suggested igniters were more dangerous than the Crown Theocracy was letting on. And there was that riot in the slums. Of course, the, the one started by that parapus. The church dismissed it as paupers revolting over their conditions. But my old man, well, he said it wasn't a riot at all. Outright accused the Crown Theocracy of turning an innocent parapus feral through horrific magic experiments. What? Who knows what really happened there? Either way, nobody took my father seriously. He was condemned as a liar, and he died young. Just the way it is, I suppose. People will always prefer their own feelings to the truth. Happiness is a luxury hard to come by otherwise. Hmm. Hard to care about the world after that. I was a poor excuse for a crier, if you ask me. <laughs> yep, here I am. It's beyond weird. <laughs> Somehow, you lot have managed to make the world seem interesting again. <laughs> I'm genuinely grateful, you know? You owe us nothing. Can't afford any rumors about you being biased in our favor anyway. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Honestly though, you need anything. You've got me on your side. For now, I'll catch a boat ride to Altabri ahead of you. Once this festival's over, it'll be farewell for the moment. So, let's make this a bash to remember. Now, time for some fun. Bring out the treats. <laughs> and those are? is called dragon's tears. They're quite precious. Their tree only bears once every few years. Ah, it is delicious. Beyond delicious. Wonderful. This again. Hulkenberg's tastes are a dubious metric at best. Please, it's the rarest of harvests, and we would like to share it with you. Sounds. I feel quite, quite, uh... Right? Right? <laughs> What's going on? There's something odd about the way those two are laughing. <coughs> But he's crying. 
What is this fruit? You see, in all times, so long times ago, times, people ate this to reach a higher plane of existence, existence and talk to the gods. Ah, uh, ha! Huh. <laughs> yes, you certainly appear to have reached some higher state. Glad I passed. Phew, finally back to normal. Well, that sure felt like a festival. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, and did you hear? The people of this island make a wish over that flame. It's said that if you write your wish on a piece of paper, it'll bring you good luck. You don't often get to relax like this. Have you decided on someone? You hear all that? What that cry was talking about? Yeah. Sounded proper familiar to me. It's easy to blame the Sanctus Church for the whole thing. But maybe not all of them were happy about it. Makes you think. I remember St. Rella looked like her heart was breaking, seeing us at death's door. Maybe. Hmm. Del. What do we believe in, really? Are we absolutely positive that, you know, Count Luis's vision and ours have enough in common? I thought we were done talking about this. He's the reason we got this far. A couple of parapus orphans. Nobody else wants us. Nobody cares about us. We'd be nothing without Count Luis. I know, Del, but he makes all them speeches about equality, but in the end, he's gonna leave the weak to die. I heard him talk about his ideal world and 
It sounds like a world where we'd have died alone in the dirt. No Saint Rella to save us. Is that what we're fighting for? Too late for that kind of talk, brother. Blood on our hands either way. Hey! What are you two doing on your own? Come join the party! You'll miss the whole festival! Lady Juna. What's that look about? I know you're absolutely smitten with me, love, but you needn't be so tense about it. Do you plan to kill Count Luis? What are you talking about? He can't be killed anyway. Lady Juna, I don't think your heart is with Count Luis anymore. Or maybe it never was. There's a side of you that you only show them. But us? I'm starting to think we've never seen the real you. Are you really so worried for Count Luis? He's the one who measures worth in power. So what would he think to hear you underestimating him? So you don't actually work for Forden or nothing then? No ulterior motives? I've been with Count Luis since before the race even started, haven't I? Ever since he was stripped of command. Hey, Del. I'm sorry if I made you worry. That's my fault. But trust me on this. I promise I'll make sure this world's got more to give you two than despair. I saw it with my own eyes. That lance gets past the king's magic. That means it can kill a candidate. They were testing it among themselves, and Lady Juna was right there with them. You serious? How are we supposed to report that to Count Luis? Oh, don't worry, it's my own problem. I told you to leave the thinking to me. <sighs> you know what I... I really like Lady Juna's songs. And I like seeing you listening to her when you get the chance. You've got arm around your heart, Del, and her music pierces it. <clears throat> I... I don't want to kill Lady Juna. And you don't either, Del. Do you? on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Thank you. Indeed.
What do you think? I beg. Settled somewhat. We've got a map of the Alterberry region too. I'd say we're set. Now we can leave with our minds clear and pockets full, eh? But where are those brothers? Out on errands? I say we just leave them behind. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Well, long as we've got a minute alone, let's go over our plan. As soon as we get to Alterbury, we give Luis the fake lance Nurus made up for us. While I hold on to the real one. Then, on the eve of this divine relic dedication ceremony, we use the real lance to end this, once and for all. He doesn't know we've worked out its powers. We'll use that to our advantage. Juna, we'll need you to convince Luis to attend the eve of the festival. I've been pestering him to do so for a while now. Don't want him spending the evening in his heavily fortified Skyrunner, after all. So where is the false lance in question? Right here. Ready to poke an eye out. <laughs> oh, what do you think? A dead ringer, eh? Such detail. Even I can't tell them apart. When we get to Alterbury, we'll pass off the fake to Luis. Then, we execute our plan. Oh, by the way, I was talking with the Magnus brothers earlier. I think they might be on to us. <sighs> That's not good. We'll need to be more careful. Wait, footsteps. Speak of the devils. We'll need to hide the real lance. You're late. We were about to leave you behind. Right, all present and counted. Anchors away, what? Aye, aye, me hearties. Uh, what's wrong then? Is that not the customary exclamation of sailors? I wouldn't believe everything he says. Tis a strange melancholy, leaving the people we have so recently come to know. We'll be back, with some fantastic tales to tell them, too. Yes, certainly. Hmm. This is Altaberry Heights. We'll make faster progress back on land. With a new ally in tow, the Gauntlet Runner at last departs the island toward the eastern side of the Inland Sea. Their destination is the Principality of Montario. Its vast mountain crags, so different from the western terrain, can be seen clearly from the water. Their forthcoming task would be their greatest trial yet. They felt the tension rise in wordless silence. Indeed.
The gauntlet runner arrives at Cliffshade Camp, just as the curtain of night descends on the wilderness. Ideal for their cover, it works both ways, as monsters and rogues alike await their victims in the shadows of the rocks. Only a gauntlet runner offers peace of mind against such dangers, a large reason why they are so sought after. Indeed. All right, then. Let's go. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. It would seem that... The gauntlet runner makes a short stop in front of Colorodio Cliff, a bluff so tremendous it fills one's vision. Its massive fissure is said to be the vestige of a god's wrath, as only a force capable of splitting heaven and earth could cause it. Perfectly balanced by the work of nature, or the wrath of gods extolled in the myths of creation, none can say. Speaking of... Listen! 
Yes. Gauntlet Runner stops amidst rocky terrain as twilight envelops the wilderness in darkness. The twinkling lights are not all stars. Some are the eyes of monsters peering through the dark. To await the dawn in comfort and peace is a privilege only the Gauntlet Runner can provide. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. It is nearly time. Got it? What now? 